All right, Fox Performance Engines, Cylinder Heads 101, how to put seats in a set of 996 heads. Basically what I'm doing right now is I'm going to show you how I bore a 996 head to accept bronze intake seats. Uh, what i got right here is the intake seat that I'm going to be putting in this head. It's bronze. Uh, it's much better material for performance and it works with stainless steel valves or titanium valves. And we're going to show you how I bore the seat pocket in the head to accept this. So at this time, this intake seat ring, its actual diameter, its OD is 1.59. I want a 7 thousandths press fit, so I'm going to bore the hole in the head to 1.583, and then I'll actually have a 7 thousandths interference fit. So that means that this seat ring is 7 thousandths of an inch larger in diameter than the hole that I'm boring in the head. So I'll have to heat the head and I'll have to put this seat on dry ice, press this into the head and, and once everything cools down this seat ring will not fall out. It's very important to get an accurate press fit on seat rings or else they could come out while the motor is running and once the motor heats up if the seat ring falls out of the head while it's running well I think you can assume what happens after that. The other thing that you want to make sure is that you bore a nice straight square hole for this to seat down into because you want as much contact surface as possible and you can only do this with an accurate proper machines and proper tooling. So right now I want to show you how I set it up. Here's the number we're looking for 1.583. This is my setting fixture. Right now it's set to 1.583. Five, five. We're going to set it. I'm twisting this right here. This is a ac very accurate dial indic or indicator micrometer. And we want to get to 1.583. Whoops, I'm going the wrong way. So these gauges are very accurate, and they're very touchy. Okay, 1583. So now what we need to do is set the, the diameter of the tool cutting head. This is the tool cutter head right here. You can see this little triangle surface is what actually bores the hole. This is going to slide down onto this pilot. And it's going to push on this little this little pointer right here. You can see when I push on this it moves this. And basically once I get that once that pointer moves around to zero, about right there, that's 1.583. That would be the diameter we want to cut to. So what I need to do I put this little Allen wrench in here. start twisting this and it's going to start moving that dial indicator. See, I'm, tw I'm moving and I'm spinning it right here. And that's giving my, me my highest reading. So right from there put this right at about one because once I tighten down the cutter head and tighten all the set screws down in the cutter head it's going to flex the flex the head enough that I'm going to end up at zero so I'm going to give me for a minute for the camera work I'm doing all this with two hands I'm can't use my feet today Cut, tighten down the cutter, the set screws, so that nothing moves. I'm going to double check my number. 
And if we're within two tenths, that's fine. Um, we don't get too picky over two tenths. And we're at about two tenths, a little over two. We're at about three tenths, almost three. So I think I'm going to loosen this back up and try one more time. Get the correct, accurate number. Alright, let's try one more time here, sorry about the shaky camera. So, if we leave this just a little big again. Let's try right there. Now we'll tighten it back down again. And we will see where we end up. And there we go. We've hit our number. We were within a tenth. Maybe a tenth and a half. Yeah, we're a tenth. So that's well within an acceptable range. So at this point, what we do as we take this cutter assembly, we come over to the machine, and this goes into the machine, we'll bring this down to here, we'll get it real close to the head, get the sleeve. We'll start cutting this just a little bit and we'll check our number. So at this point we're going to come down and we're going to go in maybe 50 thousandths depth right now just to check our diameter, make sure our diameter is right. We come back out and if our diameter is right we'll continue cutting the seat all the way down and we'll install the valve seats and uh, that's basically how it goes.